Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I've been seeing a lot of rackets and people have actually been complaining about their arm pain. Does wearing out your racket and thinning out your racket contribute to your arm pain or tennis elbow? Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go. We got the Axiom line here, the nine pack duffel, my favorite bag, the nine pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12 pack if you're going on tour and my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Danny Catalier, D-A-N-Y. C-A-T-E-L-L-I-E-R. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. Uh, Danny writes, Hi man, every day I'm watching you because you give a lot of spin on my day. Far away, beyond your interesting videos, we find your great humanity and generosity. Don't, don't know you, Harry, but I want to take some beer or scotch in your company. I want to, I want to be, I want to be your friend. Sorry for my English. I am from Quebec, Canada. Long live to the tennis. Long live to the, to tennis spin. Thanks again, Danny. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the super kind words and uh, your friendship and maybe someday your beer or your scotch. But for today, it'll be this coffee. So thank you so, so much. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, even if you're from Canada, it's cool. Network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to just hook up the channel. Super thanks is the way. Link is below. Cheers. Mm. Such kind words, Danny. I appreciate you. Uh, Okay, so a lot of people have been coming in with rackets that are in kind of this kind of shape. The head guards are worn off. You know, it's into the graphite. Sometimes I could stick my finger in it. You know, sometimes I can't, but it's definitely shaved down. So this is one of them. As you can see, the head guard is barely there. The strings um, are broken on this one because uh, you know, there's nothing protecting the string from getting scraped. So I'll show you that, right? You can see, look at the, look at the, um, the braid in the graphite, All right? And it's just a thin, thin layer there. Now, does your racket look like that? Let me show you another example. Like this is how it is on a Babolat. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole in the middle there. It, it kind of almost looks like a, a, a hole in a garbage bag. You know, so like it is a hole. It's so thinned out that you can stick your finger right through that graphite. And I have one more. This one isn't as bad, but it's definitely getting there. Like I can't stick my finger through that. That's still pretty solid, you know, but it's getting shaved down. Like, like these guys, like these three, the people that own these rackets, they, they're hard on them right they're they're really playing hard they're really coming through the ball and not caring when they scrub or when they're going for that volley that you know scrubs the racket this way um they're they're sacrificing the racket for the shot and i totally respect that now what's it doing to you though well the more you wear it out the more vibration is happening in these rackets um, i think for the last one i think we're still 
kind of borderline okay um, as that part thins out more and more more vibration will be going through the frame and where does that vibration go into your hand into your wrist into your elbow um, like i said this is borderline i probably uh, would seek out a new racket at this point i would bet though that this one with a hole in the middle right you're getting a ton of vibration through it you're feeling everything everything and if you have wrist pain or elbow pain or any kind of pain and you're susceptible to vibration this is your cause um, definitely seek out a new racket for sure and kind of the same with this like this is almost unsavable i mean i could put a head guard on this um, but it probably wouldn't do any good i'll just be masking that part and saving the strings but in the long run it's probably going to collapse right there because it's just going to keep thinning out yeah let's let's take these out in uh i mean i've never really played with a racket that's kind of this far gone um, i want to see if there's actually vibration and how much vibration these carry all right so let's take it on the court and see if we can feel it All right, so we just got off the court with the uh, you know pretty worn out rackets here, and yeah. uh, you wore them up pretty good. Yeah, like how do they feel worn out? Because um, people are playing with them like this. Oh yeah, this. of course. Yeah, I mean I used to play the, like this in the juniors because you know I, even though I was a sponsored player, I you know to you know if you like a racket so much, right? You try to do whatever you can to protect it, but. This is the inevitable. And you don't want to give it up because you don't want you're to give so it up because you're so used to it. So, like, you still love the feel of the racket. It's like superstition, right? It's like you don't want to play with that racket still. Mm. Overall, though, um, if that if it gets to a point where you see it completely, like, there's the graphite thinned out, thinned out but also, like, <laughs> like for you example, can put your this one, <laughs> like, I can put my nail into there and that's going all the way in the racket. Um, that's, that means that racket's pretty much. On its last limbs, it's pretty much not going to do much for you. Um, overall, if you play rackets like this, the overall feel of the racket will start to die off. You, what I mean by that is, you won't the balls that you're making on impact will become less, will be more muted than usual, and also the vibrations tend to be more, um, especially. That's why we suggest you switching out rackets maybe every two years, two years or so, or even. If you're really like cautious, then every year, um, it's just because of like, like I said, like the wear and tear you put on these rackets, especially if you only have one or two rackets, you're gonna use that racket quite a bit, and they don't, they eventually go through like the grommet, like the head, um, the head guards will always come like will kind of shave off near the end, and sometimes you forget it, you're like yeah, maybe one or two times, and then it becomes a month, then it comes three months, and then it's like half a year, like holy crap, it's and almost that's what gone. You get. Yep. And that actually, I recommend people who are, are like, if you see your head um, grommets going or your head guard going, that, sh that should be a time for, to, for you to switch because that could save you and your racket longevity purposes. Uh, I mean, also cost too. You don't have to pay that much. I mean, a head guard on average costs around like 10, 15 bucks. 10, 15 bucks and you can that could last you for another maybe good solid year if you keep switching it out right mm -hmm. versus you know play through it when it's all gone and then all of a sudden you got to pay another 220 dollar racket which most people don't want to do let me ask you this coach yeah um since it's like this on these rackets you could see it's on kind oh, of yeah. the same side same side yeah what happens if you strike a ball up here 
If you strike a ball up there, it really enhances the vibration. Uh, what I mean by that, it's basically usually your racket when it makes impact on the ball, any kind of anywhere it goes, it pretty much absorbs it. That's mm-hmm. the goal of the racket is to absorb the uh, the vibration, and it's supposed to tailor it to a point where it should you be able to still get away with it, but not hurt your arm over time. Let me mm-hmm. ask you this though: if you struck a ball up there, what are the chances of it going back? with um enough energy let's say pretty 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 minimal right in my opinion. it's pretty much dead um you can't really do much with it uh with the newer racket of course because it's brand new and it still retains its shape but this how you can tell it's starting to warp like if it's one size starting to shave off more and more you're losing a lot of kind of density in the racket so you're basically you're losing stability of course and you're losing a lot of feel so it's softened up here. It's completely right? soft. It's you. It's not. It's like rackets are supposed to be like a trampoline when you have a new fresh string, but this does not feel like a trampoline. It feels like you just hit it on a carpet and it's not coming back. Right. So the the, the firmness is is pretty gone. It's pretty gone. Stiffness is gone. Stiffness is gone. So therefore, if you strike it there, you may it, not get. It would just feel very out of place. What it you was, want. Yeah. It yeah. Was pretty much feels like you're not hitting the ball anymore. You're trying to push the ball over versus like, I can still get away with my swing with this one. Right. If that makes sense. Right. No, I get it. Like, the Babolats felt pretty hollow when we were swinging it. Yeah. So just imagine when it's like completely destroyed like this, you don't feel anything anymore. Mm-hmm. You pretty much feel like you're just finding where the ball is on your racket mm-hmm. <laughs> instead of being like, okay, that's the consistent contact point that I always wanted. Right, so the solid feel is gone. Surprisingly, the Wilson that's kind of not worn off as bad still felt okay. I mean, I played with, uh, in college, I always played with the Blade, and it was the older version. Two, I think it was like version six? Mm-hmm. six Five or six. Five yeah. or six. And it was kind of down to this kind of shape, and I just switched out the head guards, and I mean, it felt solid. I mean, over time, of course, older rackets do tend to tailor off a little bit and stuff, but it didn't impact that much versus the Babolats. Um, Babolats, in my opinion, are tended to feel pretty dead. In my personal experience, it's pretty dead after the first year. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're pretty much broken in, and then you're like, okay, I don't really feel much of the racket. So definitely, if you have a racket that's like this for a Babolat, you want to change soon, like pretty like ASAP. Yeah. So, so I guess the moral of our story is um, don't let it get to this state. Uh, or just when you see your head guard completely coming, like shaving off like this, for example, like this. If you see kind of like a hole already in your like your head guards, that means it's time for a change. Like mine, so you, you can tell here this is a head guard change. You see the white stuff. Yeah. The white if you start bracket. to see, usually what I always like to test is if I could like rip off. Mm. Especially if I could rip it off with ease, that means it's pretty much I need to switch a head guard. Got it. Got it. So that's always a, a rule that I always done in college and in, in my junior career was if I saw the head guard come starting to shave off and like I'm seeing more of the gray part or the head guard is actually like pretty thin mm-hmm. and I could rip it off within like with ease, that's when I change my head guard. Got it. So in, in recent times, there's been a shortage of head guards. Um, yes, especially <laughs> like during blade, COVID. Yes. Like this blade has been short. Um, put a little tape on? A lot, that's the <laughs> temporary um, procedure for that, yes. Um, but preferably, if you can get a, get, hard, get a head guard, get a head guard. Okay. Yeah, but tape, be like Coach Jared. Use some head tape. I hate head tape. <laughs> but I mean, like I think it. as in an emergency, I think you yeah. can... You know, probably get away with it, especially if you're a scrubber like, like you know, these guys. So, all right, guys. So, in this state, um, we recommend to switch. Yeah, yeah, definitely time to save your arm, save your shots, save your game. I mean, if you're playing tennis long term, it's an investment. So, yes, you might need these. Yes, please. All right, Coach Gu, thank you for uh, showing us the way in you know the condition of these guys. I try. I Ooh. try. Ooh. Where can I find you? Thank you for finding me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.